Ooh, if this is a stinker, we'll get this out of the house. We've got this nice little outdoor area set up here and we're about to build uh, or assemble a grill. Why are we doing all this? Well, the short answer is because we're about to move into this camper full time for probably a year. And this little kitchen right here, even though it's awesome and it's great that it's all set up, it's just not, I mean, here's the freezer. Freezer is, is tiny and you might think that's plenty big, but kids eat a lot. We have five kids that eat a ton and here's the counter space in the camper. It's not too bad. This little cart will be a help to give us some more working space and we can kind of tuck it off in the corner. But this is the kitchen space to prep some nice, big meals that it takes to feed a big family. So we're trying to expand as much as possible outside, which means um, a grill in this area so we can do as much cooking as possible outside the camper. We can eat on this table. We can sit out here and eat. Plus, we're actually gonna move our fridge from the house down here. We have a fridge and freezer set up, but um, we're gonna have both freezers set up down here and probably just one fridge for um, kind of supplemental. It'll be right inside this barn. So we'll have most, hopefully most of our food in there, but we'll have to put some food in here as well. This is some sort of American rite of passage, assembling your first grill. Somehow I missed out on it before, but um, now we're doing it. This looks kind of complicated, but I've got two great helpers here, Brighton, Justice, my two sons, well, oldest sons, and we're gonna try to knock this out as quick as we can, get this thing put together. So let's go. Be careful, Brighton, that knife. Spider alert. This also is happening. This man's gonna help. In the middle of putting this thing, this grill together, which is going really slowly, I uh, went up to the house. Bree is headed out um, for a little while. And this package came in the mail. This is, this is a key component of this whole deal. And I'm gonna show it to you. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this because it's just interesting and weird. That's not that interesting. This is it right here. This is what I'm talking about. Can you guess what's in the box? This says quick release maceration pump. It's not this one. You don't blow leaves with this one. This one you pump food. So basically this is a 12 volt poop pump. That's what it is. It's a maceration pump. I think that you're not supposed to pump flammable liquids. That's what this says. Toilet paper, poo, all that stuff will run through this thing. Here's the deal, folks. We're gonna be using the bathroom in this camper and we gotta have something to do with the poo. So this is my first, this is gonna be my first shot. These pumps tend to go bad really fast. What they do is they grind up toilet paper and poo and they can pump them, not anywhere, but some distance through basically a garden hose. So the idea is you take this back to here to your camper. Um, you probably wanna wear gloves. It's gonna screw on down here to the um, wastewater outlet, screw it on, and it runs to um, DC power, 12 volts, basically to like a, um, cigarette lighter plug-in power source. And then you connect your garden hose over here. That's gonna run, hopefully, to our septic clean out. So everything from the camper, I'm hoping to run into the, actually into our septic system of our house. And then this is for a water flush hose. And you can run your, this will pump your gray water and your black water now. Everything I'm saying is just words until we really see it work and see it with this elevation we've got in distance. These things tend to overheat. I've read quite a bit about them. They tend to burn out. They have issues. And this is gonna be a fun video when we actually get this thing running. Maybe as soon as tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put it away for now. Make sure we don't lose any parts. So that'll go in there. 
I keep getting distracted. Um, we just um, cl cleaned up this area. As you can tell, it, it's not that clean. It's basically dirt under these trees, but put these brick circles back, cleaning leaves out of here, trying to get this place just in order and neat and clean. But I've got to get back down here to the grill, so that's what I'm doing now, back to the grill. This is actually really quite a challenging build. I mean, I, I, it's not hard, it's just my focus is not on it 100%. Scared I'm gonna lose a part. We've just been working cleaning out the barn. But I'm gonna get back to the grill and try to finish it before this evening. This guy wants to help. He's, he's uh, turning it up and down. Hey, you can't do that. Don't do that. That's a no. Yeah. Okay, the grill's done. It's done. What did, what did you get to do the fun part? The fun part is grilling, not assembly. You could have helped me anytime you wanted, and you did help. I had the kids working cleaning this barn out earlier, and and now I'm gonna use this tool. So I just bought this. I've never owned a leaf blower, and this is a cheap, small, plastic electric one. I don't necessarily recommend that, but it is, it's basically just like a hundred mile per hour wind ah, in your face. So that is the tool all along I've meant to get for cleaning out this barn. It also will be super handy cleaning up right underneath the camper and around the camper. Okay. All right, folks, the grill is done. The AC is on. It is hot out here for October 2nd. And our day is done. It's been another great day on the homestead. We're getting just one step closer to having this a great, area to live in while we get the mold cleared out of our house and get our house torn down put back together so thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow goodbye